Hi. Now that you have Google Chrome installed on your computer, I'd like to show you a few tips and tricks to make it easier to use. In the email I sent you is a link to my website. Put your cursor at the very end of it, hold down the left mouse key, and drag across to highlight it. Now do a Control C, that is, hold down the Control key and hit the C key once. That copies it into the clipboard for future use. Now go to the desktop and look for the Google Chrome icon. It looks like this. Now for programs that are very important to me, I like to put them down on the taskbar, this area down at the very bottom. To do that, I put my cursor over the icon, I hold down the left mouse key, and I drag it down to where I want it to land. In Windows 7, the icons will split apart where it's going to land. In earlier versions, a black line would appear where it's going to land. Once you have it where you want it to land, let go, and that's where it will land. Now we have Google Chrome icon on both the desktop and the taskbar. There are two advantages to having the icon on the taskbar. One is very minor, and that is that when you launch a program from the desktop, you have to double click it. When you launch it from the taskbar, you just click it once. The bigger advantage, however, is that when you have a program open, such as I just opened Outlook here, I can still see the Google Chrome icon down here. I don't have to go looking for it on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click the icon on the taskbar. And that now launches Google Chrome for me. And this is probably what, what it looked like for you when you first installed it. If you're only going to use Google Chrome for my website, then I recommend that you make my website the home page in Google Chrome. Now I want to emphasize that this will have no effect on Internet Explorer. Whatever you have as the home page in Internet Explorer will remain that way. So this will only affect Google Chrome. So here's how you do it. In the very top right, you'll find an icon of a crescent wrench. Click on that, and you get a drop-down menu. Down near the bottom, you'll see Options. Click on that. And now you come into an Options page. There are four option areas, Basics, Personal Stuff, Under the Hood, and Extensions. We're only going to deal with two areas of the basics, the first area being the home page. Over to the right, you'll see two round buttons. These round ones are called radio buttons. What that means is if you, you can only click one of them, or only one of them can be clicked. If you click one, it will unclick the other. And that's the difference between a radio button and a checkbox. These are checkboxes down here. You can check one that doesn't affect the other one. So, going back up here to these two radio buttons, check on the one next to open this page. Then put your cursor inside the text box and do a paste. That is, hold down the control key and hit the V key as in Victor once. That pastes the link that we previously copied from my email into this text box. I click outside the text box, and Google Chrome automatically wraps it with some stuff. Now, there are just two more things I want you to do in this setup page. And I want to show you what happens when you do, the, do them. The first is this checkbox for Show Home button. Look up at the top, and this area up here is called the address bar. To the immediate left of the address bar, currently, is an icon for a refresh. This will reload the page or refresh it. Now, when we click on Show Home button, you'll see that a new icon appears to the immediate left of the address bar, and that is a house. That is now the Home button. And in a little bit, you'll understand the importance or the advantage of having that Home button there. The next checkbox is Always Show the Bookmarks bar. 
Again, look up here at the address bar and immediately below it, the only thing there is the options page. There's nothing between the address bar and the options page. So watch what happens when I click on this checkbox. A gray area appears. This gray area that appears in here is the bookmarks bar. That means we can put bookmarks on this bar that we can click on and it takes us to web pages. So we've actually now done all of the we need to do inside of the options on Google Chrome. So I'm going to close Google Chrome so you can see what we've accomplished. So now I'm going to launch it again from the taskbar. And you see that you come to my web page. Now this is what my web page currently looks like. Future Home is something quite cool. Later it will look quite different. Now, I would like you to bookmark my web page. And the advantage of doing a bookmark of this page, of course, is just to see how bookmarking works. But also, in the event that you do not want to make my web page the home page in, in Google Chrome, then you can still just click on an icon to get to my website. So here's how you do that. On whatever page you're on, right now we're at hillnichols.com. Do a control D. Hold down the control key and hit the D key. That's D as in David once. And up in the upper right hand side, you will see a white dialog box open up. Down here, you'll see a drop down option that has three options in it. Make sure that bookmarks bar is the one that is selected. Now, put your cursor up in the uh, text box that's right above that. And it should highlight everything that's in that text box and just hit the de delete key to delete what's in there. And then type in HNC or whatever you want. And then click done. That's HNC for Hill Nichols Clan. Now you'll see over here to the far left we have successfully put an icon with HNC next to it for the Hill Nickel Clan. So now, if you could get to my web page two ways, you can click on the home button or you can click on the icon here on the bookmarks bar. Now, why do we want that stuff like that? Well, if we're at a different web page, say I go, I'm here in Google Chrome's download page, and I want to get to Jerry's website. Then I have two options right now. I can either click on this home button, but it, that will only work if Jerry's website is the home page for Chrome. So I'll click on that and it takes you to my website. Now we'll go back to this Google Chrome download page. And the other way we can get to my web page is from this bookmark. I click on that. And it brings you to my web page. So that pretty well sets you up to make it easier for you to use with my web page. In the future, I'll give you lots more tips and tricks. That's it for now, and I love you all dearly.